Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm gonna be sharing with you my update for my No Pin Left Behind series, but I'm even more excited to announce to you guys that I will be posting every single day throughout the month of June at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you have not already subscribed and you're looking for some daily content through June, I hope you consider subscribing. But today's video is going to be my update for my No Pin Left Behind series. Essentially through this series, I am just trying to complete eyeshadow palettes throughout my palette collection no pan left behind style and basically that what that means is in order to complete a palette i need to use every single eyeshadow within that palette at least one time so i have two palettes that i was successful in i randomly work on six eyeshadow palettes at a time but i also no pan left behind any new eyeshadow palettes in my collection and i try to also like i'm trying to get through my entire eyeshadow palette collection i don't necessarily know that that's gonna happen this year but i have two in the project that i was focused on i was successful in i have one eyeshadow palette that i will be decluttering because sometimes when you sit down to complete a palette no pan left behind style you realize that like you're just not as connected to that palette and like the palette can get the boot which i will be filming an updated palette collection and declutter video at the end of this month so stay tuned for that and then i do have three other eyeshadow palettes that i was able to complete this past month no pan left behind style so in total i am now at 39 eyeshadow palettes in my palette collection that are complete i have quite a few new palettes still in my collection that i want to complete my testing on before i film my mid-year palette ranking video so i'm hoping that next update i'll have a lot of completions to share with you guys but as i mentioned i do have five total that i have now completed which i'll share with you and we will randomly be generating three new eyeshadow palettes to be working on within this project so if you are excited for my update stay tuned for if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content palette themed content or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video All right, you guys, I do always start with the palettes that I wasn't focused on in this project that I did complete. I have two palettes that are new palettes to my collection, and then I have one old one that I completed. So I did finally complete the Odin's Eye Fancy Face Palette. This is the Earthwood Eyeshadow Palette, and this is what this palette looks like. It is a very, very beautiful eyeshadow palette, and I really enjoyed, I feel like the looks that I created with this eyeshadow palette were definitely outside of my comfort zone and a little bit more creative than I feel like I typically do. And then you do just have like, I was able to do just like a, a look similar to this, just with the browns and this really beautiful kind of gold metallic. The one thing I will say, and I feel like I've been saying this a lot as I've talked about the Odin's Eye palettes over the last year or so, is in every single palette that they have released, with the exception of I was really impressed with all of the shades in the palettes from the Halloween 2 collection, I just feel like there's inevitably like one or two mattes that just are not like the best quality. I love Odin's Eye for their metallic special shades, their duochromes or multichromes, but there is something still to be desired with some of their matte shades. So in this eyeshadow palette, I did have a little bit of trouble with the shade Leaves, which is this dark green shade, and a little bit of trouble with the shade Petal, which is the dark purple. Everything else performed really beautifully for me. Um, and I will also share looks that I've created with this palette off to the side. I wanted to also share on my Instagram, but I, I'm just not good at Instagram. <laughs> like, not good at all. So I will share all of the looks that I have with these palettes off to the side for you. So that palette is complete. And then I did finish finally completing my Ensley Rain Groovy Garden eyeshadow palette just in time for me to receive the Cosmic Dreamer eyeshadow palette. And I'm still working my way through the Flower Moon. <laughs> um, this is what the Groovy Garden palette looks like. This is a stunning eyeshadow palette. And personally, I'm so excited to pull this back out in the fall time just because this screams grungy fall to me. I love mushrooms like I just love the, a mushroom aesthetic um, I like kind of like a groovy aesthetic so this palette I felt like really just spoke to my soul I do actually have a pan already in the shade jazz it's a little bit more of like a putty texture and I was reaching into the shade like every single time like even on days that I wasn't like using this palette I would reach into the shade jazz just because I loved it it's this really beautiful like green teal sort of shade the mattes in this like the mattes as well as the special sh as well as the special shades are just incredible Ensley Rain truly never disappoints and I'm just so impressed with 
their brand formula and again so excited to pull this one back out for the fall and i'm hoping to have more ensley rain palettes to review with you guys at the end of this month and then the final palette that i wasn't focused on in this project was my aether beauty summer solstice palette and the funny thing about this palette is i was ready to declutter this earlier this year and then i was like you know what i'm gonna give it one more try and i freaking loved the looks that i created with this palette they were definitely more neutral like some of them were like deeper like smokier or like bold but they definitely worked on like i'm gonna say an everyday basis i think i wore every every look that i created with this palette i'm almost confident i'm almost 100 certain i wore to work and i just really enjoyed my time with this palette if i'm not mistaken and if i didn't dream this up I'm almost 100% certain I've seen teasers that Aether Beauty is actually coming back. Like, I believe they've, like, rebranded and they're coming back, but they're still Aether Beauty, which is honestly just so exciting because I feel like they make an incredible eyeshadow formula, and I'm very excited to see what the new Aether Beauty has to release. So, this is another palette complete. And then that brings me to the six eyeshadow palettes that I was focused on in this project. I told you guys last update, if I didn't reach into my Glam Light Cake palette at least twice, that I needed to say goodbye to this. And I didn't reach for it at all, but I'm not going to say goodbye. I will say in May, I was either not doing bold makeup um, or I was focused on some of my newer eyeshadow palettes. But <laughs> I am bound and determined to use this in June. Um, I, I do have a couple of days off, so I'm hoping to just like sit around, play with some makeup, maybe on a rainy day. Um, so I'm not going to declutter this just yet. Cause I, I pulled this out this morning and I was like, yeah, I just, I can't, it, it is definitely not a palette that I personally reach for on an everyday basis. Um, this has been in this project since the beginning of the year and I haven't reached for it even once, but it is also a very useful palette to me to have in my collection because I don't have all of these colors scattered about and i feel like if i'm wanting just like a bright green like this like i've got it in this palette and it doesn't have to be my most used palette i also love the glam light formula so haven't used this once at all <laughs> the first five months of the year but it's staying in the project and i'm hoping i have better better updates to share with you next month or i'm going to be honestly so embarrassed and then i am going to be decluttering my moira fun is in the air eyeshadow palette this rolled in and this is the palette that like i looked into this and i was just like i'm honestly just not excited about this palette it's beautiful i love the bright fun matte colors but i don't think the quality is top tier and i also have my blend bunny surge eyeshadow palette and in that palette i have some bright neons and my most favorite shade in this palette is this neon yellow and in fact just the other day i did a look using the blend bunny surge how i envision myself using this or this yellow and it worked out just perfectly for me so i just don't feel like I have a need for this eyeshadow palette. It doesn't inspire me to use it. And so I will be rolling this one out. I You will see me declutter this in an upcoming declutter and we will roll a new palette in to replace this. I honestly don't have any looks to share with this palette because I didn't reach for it. I, And that tells me everything I need to know. All right, we'll get into the other two palettes that are remaining in the project before we end with the other two completed palettes. So I have the ColourPop Get and Fresh eyeshadow palette and I had reached into this once prior to this update like the previous update and i didn't reach into this one at all this past month um again i was trying to focus on other things but this really should be a palette that i can get easy use out of on a day-to-day -day basis now granted there are 30 eyeshadow shades in this palette i have swapped out a couple of shades so if you own this palette it might look a little bit different than mine but i should at least be able to get through i would say half of the shades in this palette by the next update so that is going to be the goal i honestly am uncertain as to whether or not i want to keep this palette or just keep some of the shades that i like i don't love every single shade in this palette but there's definitely some that i do like I do have a ColourPop like depotted Z palette. So as I work my way through this, I'm trying to keep track of the shades that I am enjoying and kind of decide how many shades I really care to keep at the end and whether it makes sense for me to keep the whole palette or just to depot a few shades out of it. Nevertheless, this one will remain in the project. And then I also have my Sydney Grace Tiny Marbles eyeshadow palette. I was going to put off filming this video um, a few more days, but I'm trying to stick to a very strict schedule that I've already mapped out because I am trying to post every single day in June. So I do have 
one look possibly two by the time this video goes up and so i'll share those over here i really loved the like blue green slash green look that i created with this palette and this palette is also in my palette battle video it's in the final four so i will be filming a look with this palette for that video and if it advances to the next round we'll do even another look so i'm confident by the next update this palette will be a rollout but i have I really have enjoyed I so enjoyed the look that I created the other day um, I got compliments at, at, I got compliments on it at work and at the end of the day I felt like my shadows were still intact I didn't have any creasing I didn't have any fading and I was just reminded as to how incredible this eyeshadow palette is so this one is going to stay in for this next month but I'm really confident this will be a rollout next update and that brings us to the two eyeshadow palettes I did complete so I have the Dominique Cosmetics Latte eyeshadow palette and I am considering decluttering this one. I tell you guys all the time, this is like a palette that in the back of my mind is always on the chopping block and then I'll use it or I'll look at the palette and be like, but why do I want to declutter this? Because I feel like I can get used, like this is a very useful palette to me, a very easy everyday palette with the exception of like these two shades. Everything else is like, I don't even have to think about it to create a look. I will say I feel like because this is an older palette in my collection, the quality isn't quite as good as I remember it. And I just was not feeling as excited for this palette as I have in the past. And I say that and I'm like, I feel like maybe I've never been, with the exception of like when this first came into my collection, I feel like I just haven't been as excited about this palette. But because I loved this when it first released, I'm kind of like struggling with myself to like let go of those initial feelings I had of the palette. But like I say these are like easy everyday shadows, but I also have these shadows scattered across other palettes that I like more than this one. So I did complete this. I like the looks that I created, but I also do anticipate that I will end up decluttering that one. Nevertheless, it's a completed palette and it will be rolling out. And then finally, I have the Sigma Corderosa eyeshadow palette. And I had so, so, so much fun creating looks with this palette. Um, I really enjoyed some of the looks that I created. And this is a palette I anticipate I will continue to use throughout the summer. I just, I just think it's such a fun one. I think the colors are so relevant for the summer. The fun thing about this though is you can really go like peach or coral, but then you can do these like purple looks too or pinks and or even just like a look like I created today. I really love, I really re was reminded of how much I love the shade Belle of the Ball. Um, I even really like the shade Campfire and the mattes in this palette are much better than some of the other Sigma formulas or Sigma palettes that I've tried. So I was so excited to pull this out, reach for it, complete it. It's definitely a palette that I will be keeping. Um, I really do enjoy this palette from Sigma. So this one is complete rolling out of the project, meaning that we will be replacing these two completed palettes as well as the Moira Fun is in the Air palette. All three of these were randomly generated palettes. Typically I do five randomly generated and then one that I select myself. I think I am gonna select one palette myself and randomly generate two palettes because I do want to focus on one like summer themed palette that I choose. So I'm gonna go grab my phone so we can randomly roll the other palettes and then I'll let you know which palette I'm selecting for myself as well. All right, I have my Tiny Decisions app pulled up. It has all of my 2024 palettes with the exception, or sorry, it has all of my palette collection um in here with the exception of new eyeshadow palettes that i have brought in and the reason i don't add those to my wheel is because in order for me to complete my testing on those palettes i have to use a no pan left behind style anyway so we are going to randomly generate two palettes and i do have this on no repeat so we shouldn't get anything that we have already pulled in Ooh, perfect Danessa Myrick's Volume 3. I freaking love that palette. And I feel like summer is the perfect time for that palette to be in this project. Alter Ego. Oh, Alter Ego Canyon. That is a perfect palette for this time of year as well. That is the dupe to the Natasha Nona Bronze palette. So I'm going to go grab those two palettes as well as the palette that I am going to be selecting to work on myself. All right, you guys, I am back with the palette. So up first, we have the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3. If you are not new to my channel, you know how much I have absolutely raved about this palette. It is an eight pan, just all special shade eyeshadow palette. So much fun and it will definitely take me a little bit of time to get through this just because 
I usually only reach into this palette for like one or two shades at a time, but I am so excited to reach into like Solar Rain and Soul. These two right here I think are gonna be so so beautiful. I also love Polaris. Um, I actually do have a pan going in the shade. I don't know if you'll even be able to see, but it is a really, really beautiful shade. The, sh the pants in this palette, at least in Polaris, are pretty thin. So I'll be curious. Maybe I can actually hit a pan on a second shade in this eyeshadow palette. We'll just have to see. Nevertheless, I'm so excited to be reaching into that. So this is rolling in, as well as my Alter Ego Canyon palette. And as I mentioned, this is the dupe to the, Nat to the, to the Natasha Denona bronze palette. And I do actually have a pan in this palette as well. This is probably my most used Alter Ego palette. I do have a code with Alter Ego if you're ever interested in purchasing anything from them. But I'm really excited to reach into, I feel like in the past, this has been a palette. I'm like, do I need to keep this? But looking into this palette right now, these like rich, warm mattes, I just feel so inspired by it. And the shade Coyote right here. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so, so happy this rolled in because I am really looking forward to using this palette and creating some warm bronze goddess-esque sort of looks with this. And then the third palette I'm going to roll in, the one I selected for myself, is going to be the Viseart Soleil La Plague eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this palette and I feel like this is perfect for this time of year. It's giving warm weather. I really wish that I could visit the Capri Coast. Personally, won't be doing that this summer, but this is so fun. Um, very easy to create like light wash looks with, nothing too bold. And this will be perfect for office looks. I really want to play around with yellows. I absolutely love the color yellow. And I feel like I've been saying I want to play with yellows for a couple months now. And now I'm like, okay, girl, it's summertime. Time to reach for the yellows. I'm envisioning like just a very soft, soft, even just maybe like one shadow in the crease. And then this matte pastel yellow in the inner corner. I'm, I have a vision and I cannot wait to play around with this, but this will be the third and final palette rolling into the project. So we have these three new additions as well as these three that are remaining in and that is going to wrap it up for today's no pan left behind update i would love to know if you do something similar to this and what palettes you have either recently completed or what palettes you've completed this year maybe the palette you're most excited that you've completed let a girl know in the comments below other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in tomorrow's video bye